the NFL. And all eyes are on Derek Goff. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Broncos and the Raiders next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Southern Nevada and Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. The veteran kicker, Dustin Hopkins, out to get things started. And off we go from Vegas. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Here comes the Denver offense set to take over for the first time. Number one overall pick in 2016 leads him out, Greg. It's quarterback Jared Goff. I give this guy a lot of credit, Mike. He was very upfront and honest, not only with us, but with his teammates, that last week, it was just not up to the standard that they expect around that building. And even though they were able to win and overcome some of those bad interceptions, they want to continue to give themselves a chance week in and week out to win in the NFL. They're going to need more production out of that quarterback position. A second down throw for Goff. That one into the hands of Hill. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. First and 10. Throwing here is Goff. That one to the sideline is over everybody. But now a penalty flash will come in. They may get him for grounding. On the draw with HN. And a pick up of uh, three, or maybe four. David Onyemata in on the tackle. Third and long. Goff to throw. Now a screen set up for HN. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. They pick up a nice chunk play there through the air on third down, but it's not quite enough to move the chains. Now the question is, how aggressive is this head coach willing to be as he tries to extend this drive? And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They are led by the former Heisman Trophy winner out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. And he's coming off a game where he's pretty much held in check for the majority of the contest. He had a couple nice throws here and there, and I think that's what gives this team hope that he is the quarterback for the future, Mike, because when he's on, it looks like big boy football. The problem is they just don't see it enough. He didn't get into any sort of established rhythm, never found the end zone, and of course he had the one interception. I think today, get him off to a good start. Get an idea of what the defense is looking to do to counter you and find some easy layups to get this quarterback going. I think last week they weren't able to do it. If they don't find early success today, I have a feeling the result might not be all that different. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Jones motioning here. Throwing on second down. Daniel in trouble, and down he goes. A loss of 10 yards on the play. It's now third down. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. 
That's caught. Christian McCaffrey. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. It'll bring up fourth down. Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This will be from 47 yards. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Raiders are out to an early 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Now Goff to the left side in the hands of Hill. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. From the gun, it's Goff. A throw left side, going to be intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthews. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. You know, Mike, any time a team can go nickel or dime and come off the field with an interception, I just am constantly reminded of the importance of defensive back depth when you're building an NFL roster. I mean, think back. This is not the old NFL base 3-4, base 4-3. Offenses are going to roll out two, three, four high-level wide receivers at you in this pass-first modern era. If you can't roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass-first modern offenses. Come to the line now on second and two. On the handoff, McCaffrey. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. Third and short, and it's Daniels. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. First and goal at the seven yard line. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. 3-0 is our score. And we're back in Vegas after this. Ball sitting at the seven. First and goal. And they'll run here with McCaffrey. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Again, it'll be McCaffrey. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit. And now it is third and goal. Third and goal. It's Daniel. Under pressure, and down he goes. They've got him back at the 10. These are the plays that drive a coach crazy. Third and goal. You put the ball into the hands of your quarterback, and you trust them to make good decisions. But in this case, once there was nowhere to go with the ball, once all the throwing lanes were taken away, this ball needs to come out. You cannot take a sack and make fourth and goal that much more difficult. Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Raiders, on the strength of two field goals, take a six to nothing lead. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. The Broncos offense and running back to Von Achan set to go to work once more. And he's made a big impact in the passing game. As you look at the NFL leaders in receiving yards by a running back, his name right there at the top. 
and they'll get about half of what they needed to pick up a five and sets up second and five. Out of the shotgun, it's gone. Right back to Williams. They connect again. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. Here's Goff. That's taken in by HN. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Goff. This one complete to Hill. Holding offense. That's on the 11-time Pro Bowler, Trent Williams. Throwing on second down. Goff. He'll try to hit him with a screen. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And you see weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake of who it is. On comes Thomas Morstead. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. And this is going to set up a long field ahead. Backed up as it is touched down inside the 10. The Raiders offense ready for this next possession. They'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and 10. That's brought in right side by Pickett. Fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. Ah, oh, the pressure too much, and he goes down. A loss of eleven. It's second and twenty-one at the nine-yard line. Let's go. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll return to Las Vegas after this. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now, a handoff to McCaffrey. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Again, it's McCaffrey. Now a timeout, Denver. That's their second. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Berenger at a punt. Back deep to receive the explosive Cavante Turpin. This will be returned from the other side of midfield. Mm. And it's a good return here. Able to take it across the 50. Set up the offense with a short field. The Broncos offense ready to take over once more. On first down, it's gone. They'll look to set up the screen here. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. On first and 10, here's Goff. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. A gain of 12. And the Broncos first down. He has been used often in the passing game. And as a result, it's going to be a new record. That last catch, he has set the NFL standard most receptions by a running back in a single season. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Well, they have not been shy about looking his way in the first half. Already seven catches, and we've yet to hit halftime. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Here now, third and five. Here's Goff. They'll try to set up the screen here. 
And he's got the first down. A great job looking at engaging where the marker is and getting there to set up first and goal. A gain of four as he's taken down. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal. He's got his big tight end. Pace of Hill. Touchdown, Bronco. Touchdown, lucky number 13 on the season. To throw is gone. And he takes it into the end zone, so they get two more on the board here just before halftime. So, final seconds of this first half. Looks like they'll take a lead into the locker room as the kick's away. Here's first and ten. Throwing is Daniel. That's complete. Left side, Pickens. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. More from you and Greg in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here. Well, it's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where you see the final score there. Matthew Stafford leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. From there, we take the long trip across the country, about as far as you can go. Check on the Seahawks in Seattle. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. Deshaun Watson responsible for the lone touchdown in the game thus far as he's thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. Bo Nix has thrown a touchdown pass. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half coming up pretty interesting first half we'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway the raiders offense ready to get going again they'll have it first in this third quarter they trail by two and we'll start this drive with first and ten they'll run with mccaffrey to start this drive and he finds some space, tackled after a gain of seven on first down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. On second down, it's Daniel. He gets free. Under the big guy, Rumble. And he is short of the goal line, but they are in business at the one-yard line. That's good for Las Vegas. They'll look to run with McCaffrey. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. Daniels to throw on second down. Oh, man, left wide open. Good play design there. George Pickens. Touchdown, Las Vegas. And he continues to be a focal point of this offense. Now 10 touchdown catches for him on the year. Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Raiders will up the lead to five. 
kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. And no run back here. It's a touchback, but with the new rule in effect, with the ball bouncing in the landing zone, they'll start this drive at their own 20. They'll start on the ground. It's a chance. And he'll get four here, up to the 24-yard line. Here's a second and six. They'll stay on the ground with A-Chan. And he'll take this to about the 28 to Debian Clowney. They're in run support. Here's third and two. They'll try and run it here. It's A-Chan. And he'll have the first down. They'll get him up around the 37. Once again, it's a check. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Now, Goff. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. From the gun, on third down, it's gone. That is not the way downfield, incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop, sets up fourth down. but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. So first and 10 now. They'll start from the 22. The drive starts with a carry by McCaffrey. Past the 45. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down muscle over there on the left side for this first and ten. A quick throw going to be caught by Pickens. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. He's going to go into the end zone, but he may have gotten a little help along the way. This one's coming back. Holding offense. So holding is the call. We'll take that touchdown off the board. Throwing on second down. Daniel. That is brought in at the 10. And he'll be taken down. So it took just three plays, but just like that, they have first and goal. Here's a run. Nine yards from the end zone for second down and goal. They'll go with him again. He's going to lose yardage. How about the defense standing up in the red zone? They'll mark it at the 10. The play lost the yard. It's now third and goal. So, some extra time to ponder this third and goal situation as we are now through the third. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Jerry Judy. Touchdown, Vegas. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. 
Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Extra point up and good from Hopkins. And the Raiders will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Kovante Turpin on the return. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And the kicking team right there, stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. The Broncos offense headed back to take over once more. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. We'll try again, it's second and 10. This one is caught by Hollywood Brown. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the gun, it's Goff. That's over the middle and intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthews. And the Raiders are going to get this back at their own 34-yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Raiders offense and Jaden Daniels. On first down, Daniels. That ball caught at Zay Jones. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. They put Pickens in motion. On play action, Daniels going deep downfield for Judy. They're going to have it first and goal. He'll be out of bounds at about the five-yard line. They'll try the left side with McCaffrey. And he's going to go backwards on that one. They take him down back at the six-yard line. From a little further back, here's second and goal. To throw is Daniels. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for George Pickens there. And now it's third and goal. They'll try and run with McCaffrey. This defense standing up in the red zone. They stop him for no gain. And now it's fourth and goal. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Raiders will extend their lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. The return starts from the five. Now an opening past the 30. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. 15-yard pickup there. Good for a Denver first down. And the Broncos first down. To throw is gone. Now a screen set up for HN. A good spot here, second and a yard. Goff to throw. 
That's taken in by HN. They had the right play call. The screen goes for 15 and a first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Goff. He pulls it in around the five. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Here's Goff. And he will score. Game on. Taysom Hill. Touchdown, Denver. Second touchdown for him in the game. Number 14 of the year. And he will score. So the risk pays off. That new match looks good when it works. The two-pointer cuts the lead to seven. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. They'll come up here first and ten. They bring Judy in motion. McCaffrey now on first and ten. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They drop him in the backfield. They'll give to McCaffrey on the option. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Now a timeout, Denver. That's their second. A tough spot here. Third and long. From the shotgun on third down, Daniels. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. run here with McCaffrey. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. The Broncos going to signal for their third and final timeout. Off the play fake. Here's Daniels. And that is brought in. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. George Pickens. Touchdown, Raiders. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the... This is first and ten. Throwing here is gone. They'll look to set up the screen here. There's a lot of quarterbacks around the league that really struggle with this, Mike, but not this guy. A righty quarterback moving to his left. Your mechanics, your footwork, and your arm talent all have to align, and tell you what, he does it about as well as anybody around the league. When you find yourself trailing here late in the game, decision-making is critical. Not only is he able to extend the drive by picking up the first down with his legs, great job by the quarterback understanding. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, save as much time as possible as they try to make a comeback. Here comes second down. Goff. He'll take off again. That's just great awareness there, Mike. He's looking downfield. He doesn't see anything, but he is locked in to get that first down. He tucks it, becomes a runner, and gets past the marker. There he goes again. He tried to buy all the time he could, but when he saw that space, he quickly turned from thrower to runner, and he's able to pick up a nice game on first down. And he could not get away. Brought down. Sack will bring us to the two-minute warning. They'll drop to throw. They'll try to set up the screen here. And 
and that screen slowed to development. They rally to the ball and stop them. That will be no gain on the screen. This is caught. He's got a long way to go. And that's not going to work. The defense comes up with a fourth down, fourth quarter stand, and forces a turnover on down. So the key to this play is when you're going to play pass coverage and you're going to drop in depth, you have to understand if the quarterback drops the ball off short, you need to route. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. On the handoff, McCaffrey. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. It's a loss of a yard. Bringing up third and 12. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one, a win for the Raiders. And it is a season sweep for them. They defeat their division rivals for the second time this year. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Black Hole celebrates. The Raiders, winners here. We'll see if there are other winners outside. So long from Vegas.